Welcome to Moontown offline or offline? Uh, Who says I'm, off? I think you might say off. Cool. Okay. Is it still downtown? Yeah, I think it's still the be downtown. Intro, then it's just yeah, and offline. then just offline. All right, cool. Yeah, but but Kinda I think s- you would start first though. Like you start with off, and then I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Just making sure we got it. Cool. Let's, but, yeah. Let's run it. Sure. Yeah. All right. Welcome, Welcome to, to downtown, downtown Moon Town. Off. off. Up. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I uh, I messed up. Pick up. I messed up there. Okay. And we just gotta remember it's you're the one that does it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I say off. Yeah, you say off. And you say line. I say line. When you say off, off I, I say line. line. Off. Line. Off. Line. Okay. It took you a second there for that second. Yeah, okay, but sorry, you, you start first. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. Welcome, Welcome to, to downtown, downtown Moontown. Moontown. Off. Line. <laughs> Dang it. it again. Okay, let's try it. Uh, no, we don't need to go into that. We'll be here for hours. Off. Line. Oh, he got it. <laughs> well, I was asking for my line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> line? Yes. Okay. You got it. Oh, there is a there's a funny sketch I saw where it was um, like a guy answering things with phrases that are common, but it's like it's like he doesn't know, and so he just keeps saying like things where it's like I don't know what you're talking about, whatever. But those are all the answers to the question. And I think it was a British sketch. Um, either from like British TV or it feels like a Monty Python thing. It could be a Monty Python thing. Anyways, welcome back. Hey everybody. Today we're talking about Monty Python and just <clears throat> uh, fun. I, I going wish. over skits. We should one day. Oh, that'd be a really cool thing. We should. Um... Hey, decent. You see? Did you see their uh, the reunion show they did a few years back? No, I oh, barely, I've it's... only seen Life of Brian. Great. Well, it's hilarious. So did we watch that together on uh... Teleparty over the pandemic. Life of Brian? Didn't we watch Life of Brian or the Holy Grail? I don't. We might have watched some of Holy Grail, but I—that's right. I've never seen. I've I don't know if we went. Brian. Yeah, I don't know if we went the whole way through Holy Grail. We watched the whole thing. I remember because I had a conversation with my ex during it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was like, guys, it's the Holy Grail. Let's and we're like, like pay a little attention. No. Well, you wouldn't know. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could read your minds. Yeah, this whole yeah, time. Um, man, they got they got a great uh anniversary show so like i mean it was like it's like 2010 so like graham chapman has died at this point so so the special is called one down five to go mm-hmm. let that sink in a bit and it's <laughs> like one of them died and there's five left yeah gotcha yeah well i think i think by this point now another has died two down four to go. <laughs> yeah i think it might be terry jones i think it's one of the terry's but definitely eric and john and michael are still around i can't believe you know their names i mean yeah it's, i mean it's john cleese michael palin uh eric idle. Sarah palin? no eric idol terry jones and then i think terry something or other not terry jones i just said it but also very funny but it was so hilarious they have I didn't realize like how amazing their skits could be. And I, this was around the time when I was, when I was in black comedy, you know? So it was like that. I guess you didn't see it. Cause uh, you never see my place, <laughs> but so whenever I was casting at first, that's true. Yeah. And then I think I took your spot. You did. Yeah. We, well, to elaborate, the show got canned because of the pandemic. Yeah. And then, and then when you reopened, later, you were just busy, I guess. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't going to audition because Craig wasn't directing it. Yeah, I thought Craig was directing it when I was going into audition, but then I went into audition. I was like, "Oh, you're not Craig." Okay. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Fine. We'll go through it. That was a time. That's not true. I've seen one of your plays. Which one? It was the almost main. Oh my god! That's the one you see. That's the one I saw. All right. <laughs> That's, I mean, out of the four performances of Citrus, that's like the fourth best. Well, it was your first one too. True. That's probably why. That's probably why. But yeah, uh, black comedy was was fun. Like the time, the setting of that was like the late sixties in that time in like England. So Monty Python was a thing. So like on my own, I just decided to like really start watching these, 
it's so funny like you got to see some of that stuff but but hey it's moon town offline guys Yay. look at us look at us grinding content look again. at us a couple of cards I now get it. what because of chain of memories yeah it's because of chain of memories okay cool Last we left off, I, it's nice because I have the computer over here, so I can just I can look up specific dates or like if we need to Google something. Oh, speaking of, because it's offline, we always have to date it. So right now it's Thursday, September fourteenth at nine twenty four p.m. Yep. Pacific Standard Time. It's the year of our Lord twenty twenty three. Yep. Year of our Lord. I uh. I listened to our last one, and I think it was the day of a year later. Really. Which is so oh, not that long. Like ago. a year earlier, do you mean? No, like in August. I think August twenty twenty two is when we recorded the last one, which was our like, hey guys, actually we just watched we just talked about D and D. Yeah, that makes sense. We talked about D and D for over an yep, hour. That was eleven months ago. So yeah, that would have been that would have been August. That yeah. was we had just finished up Scooby Doo Unmasked. We did. Oh, that was a year ago. Oh. Yeah, man. So, uh, for any of our 16 fans wondering, and if you don't get yep. that because we have more than 16 subscribers, yep. there's a whole bit you missed a couple years ago. Yep. 11 episodes of Kingdom Hearts and one LA Comic Con later, here we are. Yeah. Um, or 14, depending on when this one comes out. Yeah. So, we, we got those episodes of Kingdom Hearts out. Um, LA Comic Con is, to me, less of like a project because that's just us just li- doing our life yeah that's just like living um live and learn heading out to um, the oh we could talk about our experiences at those places well we're gonna save some details we can yeah um but that's something we could talk about sorry if it doesn't sound like we have like a plan this is like a half channel update and then it's like after that what do we talk about that's you know, funny that like we would have plans like the last time we had plans was when Donovan was here because we wanted to make it something special. Yeah, we had a whole D. I had yeah. a whole like D and D series. Yeah, out. and before that, like we would have plans with these things, like because you know we wanted to. Well, also because like we were just doing offline at one point because the pandemic, and we couldn't yeah. do regular content. Yeah. Well, we, uh, theoretically, a YouTuber could have, but. On our circumstances, it was just not. It wasn't good. Yeah, there was the whole stretch. Moon Town offline numbers one through seventeen. So many. I didn't know it was we did that many. I mean, oh they my were gosh. weekly, right? For yeah. a while there. Yeah, for a while they were weekly because like we just needed to find something to do. And we just like, hey, why don't we just like talk to each other if we can't play games or anything? And I, I still need to save up for like a gaming PC or something because this. This Mac's Dude. not going to do it. And this MacBook Air, I don't think, is going to do it either. I'd be pumped if you did. I know, because all my friends are like, let's play Baldur's Gate 3. And I'd be like, hey, <laughs> you can on an unrelated Baldur's... note. I uh, can play Baldur's Gate 3 with your friends. Yeah, it's cool. You can, totally can. Oh, I can play with Donovan. Donovan has it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad you can't play it also with the console version. But then again, you you don't have the 5 anymore. Nope. Keep Even if I get the PC, then after that, it's another 60 bucks on top of it. And like, I have to, like, all I have to do now, which it's nice because currently it's the middle of September and I just need from now to early December only save up for LA. That's nice. You know, other than that, I mean, tomorrow when I get paid, I might be able to pay off my share for the hotel. Uh, But like after that, it's just make sure you have money Mm -hmm. and there's no real other big responsibility unless something unless somebody like really cool like really really cool happens at la that i can afford and i'm a i'm okay to like wait in the super long line or anything i actually i'm excited now i have some things we can talk about when we get to la comic-con but first before we do that what if we did an a moon town out no that wouldn't make sense i was gonna say what if we did a moon town offline during la comic-con Theoretically, but good. theoretically, sure. the audio quality would not be good, but who cares? Yeah, I mean, at this point, we, well, we can do a vlog. Yeah, we'll, we'll, ju- we'll I mean, just yeah, play, but that's like, just that's part the, of the moment. Like, yeah, that's the thing. We yeah, just you're right. It do would, be, the would vlog. make no sense. Yeah, it would make any sense. All right, cool. Um, but to get back on track, um, <laughs> when have we ever had tracks? Uh, the only tracks we've speaking have... of tracks, has the gold line been extended yet? 
Uh, I believe it has. I haven't been able to keep up super well on well, that. Because you don't live right there anymore. Yeah, I, I just know that, like, oh, Grand Ave Foothill Boulevard intersection is, like, cool now. And I know that, you know, near here on my way to work at Panera Bread, you know, there's not, like, a bunch of big machines near the train tracks. It now looks a little smoother. Nice. That's that's as far as I got. Um. So... I was going to say, it's funny that you bring up what we used to have plans because we did. We would have ideas for this. Um, but then rec- whenever we took it actually offline, like when it was legitimately offline. Yeah. No, um, it was like, like this oh, we're in person. Uh, we had so the D&D stuff was the only stuff we had planned for that. Um, yeah, and then I we had an episode where we, we talked about like Critical Role. Um, yeah. The first, I think, like real in-person one might have been uh number 19 or it might have been number 18 i forget because there's like there's seven i'm looking at right now there's well, 17 if you can't and then see three us, ep- it's in person oh, that's true yeah i can just click on this one okay that takes me to a zoom so number 18 was uh by that point not great uh there's star wars obi-wan hey look at that that's cool it's getting jiggy with it. The one year anniversary show. What does that look like? Okay, that's also a Can't believe that happened during like Yeah. That was the end of twenty twenty. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, there was a big gap. Um but Yeah, so... because like we got some time somewhere in there to not just do those first two sessions with AJ, but also like to play all this kingdom hearts and stuff because wasn't there a point where like we basically just did two days in a row the kingdom hearts yeah just like moontown stuff i think yeah yeah we just did like well because things were getting better and then we were like let you were like i want to finish this game yeah like all right let's get through it and 50 episodes in we did and that was nice yeah luckily yeah. this game is shorter yeah, and then I was like, okay, cool. Now we can just, like, hang around a bit. So there's some fun SNES stuff with Donovan that we can definitely get back to at some point. Uh, there's Star Wars Obi-Wan, which happened 15 episodes. The game that still looks f- cool. Yeah, it looks cool. It just doesn't it play It just enough. controls so weirdly. I just don't like Not it. Not bad, just, like, weird. I just don't like it. Yeah, and then right after that was, okay, now it's Gauntlet Dark, re- or no, 17 episodes of Obi-Wan. And then it was Gauntlet Dark Legacy. And we just did that for a bit. And on top of that was Scooby-Doo Unmasked. Then we finished Gauntlet. Yeah, Gauntlet was 30 episodes exactly. And immediately after that was the Scooby-Doo Unmasked finale, which was nine episodes. So that was that was nice timing. Mm-hmm. And then an offline that then led into where we are now. Nice. So, so today for us was a massive... Um, I'm not a real massive. This is a usual recording session, right? Yeah, this is about as usual as it gets. Usual as it gets. We usually do, it's we like three or four. Well, we did one long one, but we did three, but one long one, right? Yeah, it's usually three to four episodes and then a Moon Town offline or at least another episode if we like have a decent amount of time, which. Yeah. Usually it's just like, oh, we're tired. Let's just go. So to get back to yeah, we the keep topic. Tangents. <laughs> um,. There's been a large break because a lot of life stuff happened. And by life stuff, I mean for me. I had... So I moved um, sort of unwillingly, kind of. Because the place where I was staying, it was accepted as you're going to be here until you find a new place. And then my parents and I couldn't find like, like a place for us together. So I moved in with a friend of mine um, who's further away. And if we remember our lore, I didn't have a driver's license. Nope. Or a car for like a good couple months. They had, because they were still living at that place until April. So up until April, I had to be chauffeured. Well, I still had to be chauffeured after that. But I had to be like, a car had to get to me and I had to do stuff. And I had school. So I did school. I quit my job. Um, a couple weeks after I, or 10 days after I moved or no, I had two shifts after I moved because I'm not going to spend 
25 minutes for a morning shift, like a 5, 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. or a 5.30 to 1.30 or a 6 to 2 p.m. shift at fucking McDonald's. It's not worth it. And, and at that point, I was so done with that job. Guys, if you work in fast food, I'm so sorry. Thanks. That for- sucks. Yeah. You, hey. And you went back. You're like, I missed it so much. I had to, because no one's going to hire me. <laughs> All right. No, and it's so. That, that's a whole other kind That's a whole other episode where yeah, you just shit on life. Yeah, that's a whole other of just like job stories. Yeah. So, Honestly, that could topic. Been, that could have been this. Okay, we got to write that down, though. You, yeah, write that down. I also yeah. still have a list, actually, of episode ideas. Um, but this was more impromptu because I wanted to talk about uh, my life a little bit. So I had to move. I did school. Um, and like four people, uh, that I knew personally and all, all I knew from my childhood. And even though one of them, only one of them was blood related to me, all the other ones had a great impact on me and they were considered part of my larger family. Um, and my family, or but I mean my, my close, my immediate, my immediate family, my mom and my dad, we've considered everyone in it our family uh so four people died uh, my aunt got january 1st my aunt got diagnosed or i was told about it um i was told that we have to move out and then my aunt got diagnosed with uh cervical cancer i was like i think it was cervical cancer anyways she lost um going to the hospital we can do it we can do a like a, a deep episode one day uh, where we like, you know, really get this stuff out, even sure. though I kind of already have a little bit, but you know, maybe it's fine. Maybe if somebody else to hear about it might be good for them. Sure. Uh, yeah. But I had the hospital visit that was hard to do. Um, and then she died the morning after. And then we had the funeral two to three months later or Memorial. Um, I really funeral has the body, right? Uh, since we were cre- She was cremated. So we just had a Memorial. I think I mean, it might be interchangeable, at least in just like general kind of terms. But I think in a in a word sense, it might there's probably just it's probably memorial is the safer option. Yeah. If it's just like if it's just the ashes. Yeah. So we had a memorial. Um, I was not doing OK that day. I cried a lot. Um, then I found out that. So that was my aunt. My aunt passed. And before that my so everyone else isn't technically blood related to me but they're all connected to me in some way um in 2014 or 2013 2013 and the summer of 2014 my godmother passed away um like my she was literally like my second mother i one year my mom had heart palpitations and that and so the the next day oh so she went to the hospital my and then my dad took me back home and then the next day was Mother's Day and I didn't spend it with her, but instead I was with my godmother and her house. Um, and I spent time with her and so she was there for me. She she loved me so much. I was basically one of her kids. I was over there. I had a lot of birthdays there, had a lot of events there. That's a childhood home. Um, and the people who, and there's the per- people who live there, um, there was my godmother, her husband, um, uh, her brother, her mom and her son her mom passed away and her mom was like a grandmother to me basically up until 2014 so for my formative years she was a grandmother to me um she passed i did not i missed that uh funeral because my parents had a an issue with with transportation and so i didn't have transportation to get there um and then remember how I mentioned the husband that she lived with, he passed away too, but we knew, we knew. So he had cancer. He was losing the fight. He then had at home hospice care and he decided he was going to take the pill and he was going to do it like after my birthday, but he did it before. And my dad and I had planned to see him one last time because when I left, I, I lived with him spoiler alert um i was like oh you know like you know on the inside i was a little annoyed that i had to just like move away um and our our good our my last words were hey you know thanks for 
uh, thanks for thanks for everything you've done. Um, I'm I'm just letting you. I'm leaving now. He was like, ah, you know, have a have a good life. You know, he was he was doing something. He was busy, but that that's my last interaction with him. And I wanted my dad and I wanted just to spend time with him in his darkest moments. And he decided to end his life earlier, so we didn't get that. So that upset me. Um, and that was the first half of the year. So J- July second, was it July second? Designates I think the f- first half of the year being over, and so. We get to then my aunt, not technically my aunt. So my blood, my blood related uncle, my dad's brother, his wife's sister. So I'm not related to them by blood, but I saw them in my childhood. I called her auntie and then her name, Um, even though I didn't have to. That's just who she was to me. She took me to my first anime convention. For my, my two birthdays in a row, she took me to anime convention. I had so much fun. Whenever I was with my aunt, because she lived with my aunt, I would see her. And we're always there for like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is going to be so weird this year. We lost two very important people. Um, but it was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, that's a game. That's a make some noise reference. I was a robot having an orgasm. Okay. By Josh Rubin. Um so that was like, I was angry at that point. I remember I saw I saw it on a post on Facebook. That's why I found out about it. And I was literally like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I was like, another one? And she had cancer, by the way. Um, so that's three to cancer. I don't know about uh, who I called a grandma. I don't know about her. I might have just been old age. But I haven't seen her like since she moved away. So that felt kind of bad, you know, but that's what was happening to me. So I, so I had a location issue. I had a transportation issue and then I had an emotional issue. So that's why like Owen and I have been really to meet up. Um, but on August 31st, so 15 days ago or 14 days ago, cause it's the 14th. It- Something around that number. Maybe about Ab- that. I guess what? About 14 days ago. Sure. Um, I passed my driver's license test. And so I was able to drive around. And then I was just kind of living life. And then I texted Owen and I was like, hey, man, you free? Because we tried to do it. We tried to do something last week and it didn't work out, right? Uh, Yeah, it was either last week or the week before. Yeah, I we had tried something, doing something that I forgot about, which is happens often with me it happens um and it's usually because there are things that are planned for me sometimes and i don't know when they are or there's i don't know if something's gonna happen until it happens but it's like a priority thing where it's like well if this happens i have to do that because i'm needed for that so that's why sometimes it's like hard for me to like plan around things. Actually, just talking to my my roommate today, he was like, "Hey," I was like, "I was like, hey, blah blah blah." I'm like, are you free uh, later or something? He was like, "No," and I'm like, "What about this day?" And he's like, "No." Nah. He's like, "I haven't seen you. When are you free?" I'm like, "Well, I'm free these times." And he's like, "I work uh, late shift, so we can do in the morning." I'm like, "Cool." Literally haven't really talked to him in like a week, hmm. and I live in the house with him, um, because I go to school and and he goes to work when I'm back. So, yeah. I guess to make a long story short, that's that. Also kind of an update. I'm trying to move out of there now because that place is going to get crowded. Um, So me and a couple of my friends are trying to find a spot. Um, And now that I'm... Even though that part of my life is still kind of in limbo and chaos, um, I have a car now and I have more freedom and I'm not as sad. So, you know, we can make content again. That's, I mean, I was going to say that's great, but you know, well, it's great that we can make content. Yeah. It's, and then I'm it, not sad. Yeah. That's perfect. That's brilliant. And then, I don't know. I just feel like I'm the, I'm now the, the Patrick Stewart in that meme where he's like, today I saw a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gee, Cause okay. Last reaching a memories episode technically was episode 10. I say that because uh, episode one, I uploaded a few weeks ago. But that's just because I forgot to upload it. The first episode? No, episode 11. Oh. Yeah. So episode 10 was uploaded June 6th. So that's sort of where we're... Of last year? Of this year. 
And we recorded those last year, right? No, we would have recorded these like. Are you? Er, like I late didn't May? see you in May. Let I'm me... pretty sure we recorded those all last year. Okay, episode ten might have been. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I, was, I say episode eleven is one that I forgot to upload, but I think episodes. Uh, if not, okay, so let's just go to eight. Because number eight is like the one right after L.A. Comic Con. Mm-hmm. So this one, March 17th of this year. Uh-huh. We definitely saw each other at least once or twice this year after Comic Con. Well. Oh. Was it? Maybe you're right. So remember when we had dinner together in March or April? Yeah. So also spoiler alert. Oh, this we Owen and I have seen each other less than five times this year um, because my life's been so hectic. Sad. I think yeah. technically this is the third because we had you saw my improv show. Yeah, like a mo- about a month ago. About a month ago, and then in March or April we had dinner. I guess you drove me to your house to do a recording session that day. Yes, because I we, forgot that because we, we went that to part. that Mexican place. Yeah. yeah, yeah, by me. Yeah, by you. By uh, by Fullerton, and then we went here. Yeah. There you go. I, I forgot that we had recorded. Oh, so we That's had okay. one recording session well, this year. I don't think we recorded. No? I think it was the Mexican place and then just back home for you. I think that might have been it. So we this is all recorded from last year then. Yeah, March 17th, 2023 is at least, is at least episode 8. Okay, I see the issue here. So episode eight and episode seven have a five month gap. Episode seven being October 22nd, 2022. And we definitely recorded after October. Yeah. There we go. Then I think eight through 11 was in. Eight through 11 were just like a session that we had done in between that and L.A. Yeah. And then so we haven't recorded this year. Yeah, I guess not until now. In September. Ugh. Yeah. Yikes. Life has been hectic. Honestly, yeah. It has this... I mean, I guess Life Update this year, I was in two plays. That might have also just helped with us not doing anything. Well, yeah, you were busy <clears throat> as well. Yeah, I, I think could... also probably, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Sure. Um, you know... You, you, I think you knew how unavailable I was. And I think if you knew you were busy, you're like, if I'm busy, I'm not even going to try with that guy. Because if he's busier than me. Yeah, mo- like most to all of my evenings were packed. Yeah. Because I had, this was, would have been like mid-February to very early. <coughs> Don't die. Sure. Some, uh, not February like somewhere in march to may i was doing uh i was doing black comedy which is mm-hmm. a play by peter schaefer which is very funny if like you know directed super well it's uh it's a farce and it's about these people in late in late 60s uh england you brought and, this up earlier. yeah i probably did yeah and, the Mon- power- and during monty python okay well there you go and the power goes out and it's you know it's funny don't worry about it guys it's funny and then, like, almost right after that, maybe like a couple decent weeks. You did the week- summer show, right? Yeah, a couple decent weeks after that I did, and then there were none, which was written by Agatha Christie. It's one of her more popular ones. It's one of the only ones that she really put into a play. Mm-hmm. Uh, directed by the great Jeremy Lewis. Who was I didn't, I was busy for... Yeah, you had like FPS or something. I had a lot of improv to do. Yeah. I think if I had, I had more foresight, I probably could have gone to one of the first showings, but I think after the first weekend I was, I was booked. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but that was, oh, that was so much fun. That was, that was like the best. There was, there's so many good gummy worms in there and like Red Ball was great. You ever played Red Ball or something similar to it? Red Ball, Blue Ball, Red Ball, Green Ball? N- no. You- oh, and Red Ball. No, that no. It's it's like an actual red ball. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I think it's just we as the cast called it red ball because it was like a red ball that mm-hmm. we'd all get in a circle, 
and we'd have to isn't the improv we have to warm up. pop to each other and like count it off and see how far we can go i don't know if it's necessarily an improv game i mean Not it's all like I've played. it's all like concentration and focus and stuff but we just had so much fun bouncing that red ball around. The the improv one is, say we have a circle of people. Yep. I would say Owen red ball, and you would have to say red ball thank you to so that you've listened to what you're receiving and you know because you know there's not it's not really in front of us. So you go, I know I have a red ball, and you're saying thank you, yeah. and then you would have to pass it off to someone, and then say we just have a red ball passing around, and then at one point say I'm the host or the coach or whatever. I would turn to somebody else and say, or maybe you you go and say Owen green ball, and you would say green ball thank you. Now I have a red ball running around and a green ball running around and then i can just keep adding yeah, that, more and more I things like that, that just hurts my head yeah but yeah that it, it sounds oh, cool millennium falcon. Huh. Millennium falcon now we're talking <laughs> <laughs> now you're speaking of my language oh that was a lot of great fun and then i've had you know the D sessions and i've had you know work starting to pick up again now that all the plays are done Mm-hmm. pick up i say when it's like five to six days in a row i get to work and then the next week it's like two days and then a week after that it's like four to six and then it's three days and it's, they it's have been, you work a lot and then a little and then a lot and then a it's little it's been a weirdly consistent for like a month interesting and i need to figure that out interesting because like hey guys because i have like so my availability is Sundays off. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Wednesday I have 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. I have free. Mm-hmm. Just because, like, you know, evenings are nice. There's a Wednesday service in my church, so I can try to catch that online. Every other day, open av- open availability 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. And just sometimes, like, you just have to gamble with that. That's the thing about being part-time. You know, I try to... I'd like to be full time. I think it would take. Well, it's not like you're going to school. You can. It's very fair. Plus, I need to catch up on a lot of expenses and stuff. So, gotta have a discussion on that. The <laughs> Just one... make sure Thursday nights are free. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Thursday and Sunday nights. Gotta make sure those ones are free. The thing is, like. It's like a mustache hair. It's just like keeps trying to like get into my lip. Like, nah, I want it. And like, yeah. no. Don't. I hate that too. Yeah. It happens all the time. No matter how much like you trim the mustache around your lip, they're still they're still just like, hey, what's over here? Yeah. It's like I'm gonna keep growing. You're like, no. Yeah. But another thing is like, so Panera Bread, I don't think they have a whole lot of full time people, and I feel like that's a food for place. a re. Yeah, I feel like that might be for a reason. Have you ever been offered a shift lead position? Nope. Uh, uh, last say that's m- one of the only full time positions I can think of. Yeah, last month I was asked like, "Hey, would you be down to like train people when like we get new people?" And I was like, "Great." And we've had like four new people since then, and I haven't really been the one to train them. Dude, <laughs> we should tell work stories another time. That's a separate yeah. podcast. But to do a hint, I once trained a guy for drive through. I was really good at drive through. They really put me back there, and I really liked it. Um, most sometimes. Because then, as you know, and it can get lonely when you're one place kind of by yourself for a while. Believe me, um, I know. That's, a nut, that's a that's whole a whole episode. story. Um, I trained someone. He was doing really well. He was getting it. Never showed up again. And I was like, hey. I was talking to my manager. And I was like, hey, Gabby, what? where did, where did they go? Where did Josh go? And how is, I think his name actually was Josh. Oh. It uh-oh. could be. It might not be. Okay. And she like was like, I was wondering, she was like, maybe it was something you did, sir. And I was like, no, it can't be. And she's like, no, I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. He just, he just didn't like contact us. Oh no. I think he just like, I think he quit. He sent a message. You get a call. I don't know. I, I got the reading. Maybe like I he think transferred? I got the reading. It was like a parent decision. I think his parent, because I think he was like 15 or 16, 16. Uh, I think you have to be 16. Um, I think his mom, maybe just something. Yeah. I don't fucking know. It might be a little younger just cause it's McDonald's and they're very easy on like letting kids in well yeah well it's a friend i want to know it's a franchise mcdonald's yeah franchise so, is a franchise i was gonna say as a defense maybe they'd be more moy maybe they would be more like strict on it but i feel like a corporate would be more strict on it but regardless um but yeah regardless regardless i don't think there's anyone outside of like the supervisors and a few of the leads that are like 
like those guys are full time. Everybody else, I think, goes for part time. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if there's necessarily a way in, outside of like, please, can I have more hours? Because there's only so many hours they can give per day. Mm-hmm. So like you're just kind of stuck here of like, yeah, go ahead. And then you just have to sit at the at the ice fishing hole of pickup shifts and just like wait for a bite. And then you just scramble on it like a rat. So I think I think there might be one uh, next Tuesday that's currently available. I think I saw it today. It was like 10 to 330. So I got to make sure to pick that one up just so I can get a little more something. But hopefully this should be a nice check. Because it'll technically be th- like 32 hours or something. Mm-hmm. And like for me, that's like really good, you know. But that, again, just goes back into like job story stuff. Yeah. But those are sort of the big so, three things for me. I mean, we've, we're have we still we're still in this house. Uh-huh. It's still nice. Uh, Justin actually moved out a few months ago. Yeah. Yeah, he's... I think, it, yeah, we definitely discussed this. Hey, man, during... if I can't find a place by the end of the year, I'm going to come knocking. Sure. Yeah. So, like, a couple miles north from here, I uh, he just moved in with some roommates. Because it's, like, a smaller house thing that somebody else built. Hmm. Or at least, like, leased or something. And they're like, yeah, hey, I've... There's hey Justin available. and others, can do you want to live here? And they're like, great. So, Justin gets to be there with I his roommates. Easy for me. And his roommate's cat, which I've met. <gasps> kitty her name's jade oh, she's that's nice a beautiful name for a cat yeah beautiful she's cool. kitty cat yeah no i i just sort of have the soft version of what i've been up to this year yeah. <laughs> what's how my Not 2019 has been hitting. like <laughs> no guys remember that I've... bit remember that bit we would always ask about 2019 yep but, i mean i've had that's not to say that i haven't had like difficult half years and you haven't had just sort of neutral half years i mean that's just kind of life these, yeah. sorts of, these sorts of things happen so yeah next time we do an offline maybe things <laughs> maybe are just two very, years <laughs> yeah maybe in two years maybe it's just like very different you know <laughs> yeah um but we're trying to we're gonna try to get back together more for yeah. this sort of stuff i mean that's at least yeah that's the goal that's the goal not to reclaim i guess to reclaim normal in a way for me or to reclaim like i know aj misses us a lot i know yeah so i miss him too I if we're gonna hang out with him more Especially I can go over. Yeah. Now the onus is on me. Now you heard my call earlier. I'm going to try to hang out with him more too. So sure. He can feel better. <laughs> oh, sure. Poor yeah. Guy. Um, yeah. You just need to find that community. You know, that, that helps tremendously. Like when I, like summer 2019, I do not remember whatsoever because at that point I was like, a few months fresh into McDonald's. I had just broken up with super long time girlfriend that I thought was like, that was it. You know, there were a lot of signs. This would be it, but nope. <laughs> and then things happen. I just don't remember that summer. I literally just remember like that day happening, a few other sparse things. And then right after that was going into improv class and seeing you guys. Yeah. Like, feel, there's just, there's nothing in that gap. I feel similar if it's like, I kind of, well, I actually just don't really remember much about the past. I always have a thing where it's like recent memory thing. I'm like, what happened recently? I have to like really think about it. But like, I mean, I feel like for everyone, 2020 is like a year like that. Um, but even for me, like also 2021, because 2021 was me dealing with the breakup. And that's a, that's a whole thing. Because I was like. I was in 2020 with That's the breakup. Whole, I was fine. I mean, if we want to get super duper real, we can have a relationship. Uh, no, listen, we have the deep podcast where we talk about relationships and traumas. And then that, then that's, I'll go more in depth on how I felt about people dying. Sure. It'll be great. Yeah. We don't have to name names or anything. It'll be, no, it'll it's be just, such a fun. It's just time. like a free space to talk. Yeah. Um, all, we t- we said we were going to talk about the con- conventions. Um, like I said, I can still stay longer. Um, Sure. I know I'm bringing this up during the podcast. No, worries. I'm still down to, to like another half hour of us talking about conventions. Yeah, well, one two here. Why don't we take a commercial, commercial break? break? Yeah, yeah, and we'll go through a few good commercials, and we will uh, we will be back with some more Moon Town offline. See you then. Now, class, Mr. Tiger will show us how Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flake cereal starts out. Is this a flake real? 
It's a cornfield. Kellogg's toast corn to golden flakes and adds a secret frosting. Helps keep them extra crunchy and delicious. It's part of your good breakfast and tastes. I know. Great. Sit down breakfast with Tony and you'll discover why it's great. Mr. Tiger, you're wonderful. <laughs> oh, shucks. Greatest hits. Mamma mia, here I go again. Fifteen unforgettable tracks on one great album. So when you hear me, darling, can't you hear me? It's so Including their very latest chart buster, Fernando. From Waterloo to Fernando, ABBA's Greatest Hits, out now. And we're back. I did not think Sega was that sexist. Dude, you just got to read the newsletters. I just need to pay attention to blast processing and apparently video games are only for boys. That's for the boys. But anyways, conventions. conventions. Also the boys. <laughs> yeah, speaking of the boys, conventions. Let's talk AKA about... AKA like one. Let's talk about... Or at least one in my life. Both LA Comic Cons. Hey. And then I'll talk to you a little bit what about... What a thing. Uh, this year, I went to Evo, and I just went to PAX West. That's... Dude, that's right. Yeah. You were in Seattle. I was in Seattle. So How I'm, about that? Give me give me the just the brief synopsis Well, we'll that. go through in order. All right. Because then I'm going to tell you a little bit of my... A little bit of some disappointments and a little bit of my... Oh, that's cool. Sure. So, if you all mm. remember, we had, I believe, the first year, it split up into two videos? Three. Three, I'm looking were, at it right now. It's split oh, up into it's day into, two and three. One video in this next year. Yeah, it's day one, day two, and day three. Three and, and four. four. That's what I was yeah. thinking of. And then day, and then the next year, I was like, wait, why don't I just put this into one video? Because then, like, because <laughs> then I upload it once, and I don't have to sit around like, oh, it's been a month. I should probably upload the next part. It's true. I can just get it all out, more or less all at once. It takes longer to edit, of course, but it just helps. I mean, I like I edited it in chunks. Mm-hmm. Like I technically edited it in like in the days. It'd be like, LA Comic Con twenty two part one was like day one to halfway through day two, and you just export that, and then you make a new project, and then you drag that one in, and you just start from there. Oh, nice. And then just, I think I did that one more other time, and then you know uploaded the actual thing. But that helps. Is that easier than just doing it all at once? I mean, or, yeah, for, like, processing and stuff. Yeah. And because then it's like, like, okay, export the also video. Also, you can, I guess, you can say, I'm going to take a break. Exactly, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you could be like, all right, let's export the video and it, that we didn't do the chunk bit. All right, see you in 16 hours of <laughs> writing time. Or, it's, really that, it's really that long, wow. Yeah, I might be over-exaggerating. It's been a while since I've your, had, like, How old is the air? Because oh, I have the air too. Uh, this is what is this? I have a. Where are you? I think mine's a 2022. This is a 2017. I have a 2022 black. Um, did you upgrade it at all? Uh, maybe not. No. Maybe I have um mine. I upgraded the RAM to 16. It's and the it's a mono Monterey Monterey version 12.1. That means nothing to me. It's, Eight gigabytes memory. Eight gigabytes memory. Yeah. Okay. I have sixteen, and I have a terabyte hard 1. drive. One point eight processor. Thirteen inches. Whoa. And let's just the size of the laptop. Hey, mine's thirteen point three. Oh well, there you go. You know what's a fun fact? My backpack and my uh, laptop bag are actually match very well. Oh. So it's actually kind of cool. They have like gray and black. Um. Okay, so we have the. Uh, pause now. Watch the two. Watch the first LA Comic Con videos. Yep. Oh wow! Oh my God! You guys came back. That's so cool. Oh, wow. Um. So how was it? That's your first convention. We've never done like a debrief. That's funny. 
That's weird. I, I thought we'd like that we would have. Ha- you think that could happen like at the end of the the Comic Con stuff? We should do that. But like by the end of it, we're but like by, by day four, us in the car, Our, we're dead. We're just tired. We are tired. We're just enjoying the views, having some good vibes, and just getting everybody home. Tired, or in the second year, with some of us were pretty high. Yep. And not you. It wasn't not Owen, me. guys. Not me. Want to make that clear? I think even AJ, if you ask him, will be like. Yeah, no, he wasn't. No, because AJ can goof around on a he lot. He can goof and gaff. He can goof and gaff a lot. But I think if anyone asked him, he'd be like, "No, he didn't." No. Uh, and also, just like he would know. quote me, "What did I say? This is great." You said a lot. Of, yeah, you said, "Are you having fun?" I, dude, that was. We'll get to that. That's 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 year two. Yeah, we'll this get to year that in year two. <laughs> so year, Comic Con year one. Yeah, where's Detective so, Gordon? Year one. Why did this start? Why did we go? Yeah, I don't remember the reason why Didn't we went. It? Oh, Donovan wanted to go to LA Comic Con for his birthday. And so he said, hey, guys, That's right. do you want to go with me? Because Donovan likes us and we're his friends. Yeah, like, he says, absolutely. I have a couple of my friends that also want to go. Um, I have bought a hotel rooms already. I don't remember. Who, but I think he was considering it. Like he was really, um, he was probably like at the page. Like yeah, Donovan I can buy these was, really nice hotel rooms. Yeah, by the he, way. he, uh, yeah, without a microwave. Um, I'm sorry for those uh, guys. If you go, people who frequent hotels in L.A. and Vegas, and then go somewhere else like Torrance, I can stay in a cheap hotel in Torrance, and it gives me a damn mini fridge. Uh, a microwave and a, like freaking like a large table and stuff and it's just a two bedroom and then you go to get one in LA and Vegas and they don't even give you some of those amenities and it's so stupid for the price you have to pay if the price it's... we'll get to that part in but too. that's why I like the hotel that we're going to get for LA this year yeah it's nice it's the same one that I sent you right yeah, yeah same cool. one you sent me and it might just be a different room yeah, probably. Because I think know. parts of it are like, I can also look at that too. Well, that has a whole fucking kitchen. Yeah. We have a kitchen. AJ yeah. can't complain now. Nope. He cannot. Um. So uh, Donovan wanted to invite us because he's our, we were friends. Yeah. Uh, this is 2020. Or so we've heard. Or so, or so we believe. Well, I mean, he used to be part of me. That's true. So, yeah. He, he a, does have kind of a, like, all right, I have to, uh, I have to get him, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and he's not going to go without these two weirdos. Yeah. So he was like, and guys, we'll stay at a room there. Do you guys want to go? And we're all like, oh, sick. Because none of us, none of us had been to a Comic-Con before. No. I'd been This to... would have been like in the summer, I think, or like the late summer. Because at that point, I was working at Vaughn's. That's part of the work stories. And I was thinking about trying to go for the, the fall play. And I was like, I really need to quit Vons. And then this came around, and I think I was like, oh, sick. Not only is this another excuse <laughs> to, like, Did leave. Clue? Uh, no, no, it Clue was, was almost May. Yeah. Clue was the summer of the next yep. year. Gotcha. I was like, oh, sick. Not only is this another excuse, but also this is something to, like, go for. Like, this is something to, like, okay, let's put our money into this. Like, let's work to save up for L.A. and just not being able to work during a play and then we scoot and then we leave it's like this is great yeah so we went for all four days three days it was only three that year or you just said day one day two and well because because day four was us waking up oh to leave? leaving the hotel and go oh okay so we went for all three days yep um so it was a friday saturday sunday and then we would leave on a monday um solid plan <laughs> i Okay, 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 so really quick history. I had uh, two, as you heard earlier when I was talking about sad stuff. Uh, my auntie had taken me to anime conventions, and so I kind of knew what anime convention was. I had been with my father to, oh, and my friends were also there. My father left at one point, but we hung out there. Love my dad. Um, we did a SoCal Retro Gaming Expo that was just in um, Pasadena, and it was really cool. I saw beat 'em ups and the game chasers. I took a selfie with Wood from Beat 'em Ups, and now I watch content from Wood more than game chasers. So now I really want another selfie with Wood. Wood, if you're listening, I you're I like you. You're great. Also, 
Wood talks a lot about mental health stuff in a non Tedo podcast. Guys, it's a really good podcast. Listen to it. Um, the guy who in there, his name is Wolfden. He looks a lot like my friend Enrique. It's really funny. Um, but Wood talks a lot about like his struggles in that because he's had some trauma when he when he's moved. And I think it's nice that people are just really open about that in a public space. Something that we've talked about before. Remember we were talking about Ted Lasso when you saw my improv show? Yeah. We love how it shows men talking about their emotions and what I call positive masculinity. I think wood is a part of that, like, movement, to call it something. It's not wow. really one. And I just think it's great. Now we have a movement. Now we have a movement. Men have a movement. Well, yeah, men need to treat them and other people better. But... Um, that was my experience. Oh, and I had, there was another SoCal gaming expo. I don't know if that was after our first LA comic con or slightly before. I don't know if it was that year. I don't remember if there were masks or not. That's, that's why I'm having a hard time. I was going to say, yeah, this LA comic con was 2021. Yeah. It was masky. So yeah, it was, it was masky masky. Isn't this a stylish one? We also needed to have our proof of vaccination. Yep. Yeah, the video starts with us at Target because we made the sorrowful mistake of, and like, you know, you're going to make these mistakes first time you go around. We made, oh, look at Donovan. He hasn't changed one bit. Neither of, neither, neither is AJ. Okay, neither of any of us. I look The one thing that's changed is you have a tank top well, and, and you can drive. And I, I go bald more often now. That's true. And today so I... I I think my roommate had the trimmer so i couldn't i was going to trim today but I, I could yeah you're like the culmination of any change that's happened between the four of us in two years yep i'm oh i'm clearly over exaggerating yeah my life has changed the most donovan's life had I, from this point has changed because he has a girlfriend now True. um yeah. and he lives in a new place yeah um but yeah we went to target yeah we went to target like in the middle of it i think we went to the target eastland in... center or san dimas it was in it was San like West. It was San Dimas or West Covina, I believe. It might have been the West Covina one. No, wait. I don't think we would go to West. Is that? Oh, the Eastland Center one is West Covina, right? Yeah, the I one. That's yeah, the, uh, we went to that Covina. one because it was closer to the freeway. Yeah, the tens right there. Uh, what's that? Some... What's that one? That you might know be the one the I'm 10. talking about. Yeah, I think that's the ten. Yeah, the fifty. The two tens there. 57. Yeah, two tens there. Fifty-seven. So the next one over would be the ten. Yeah, so, so we went that one. By that point, yeah. So yeah, so we just did that mistake, because for anyone doing conventions, big mistake: getting your groceries before you get to the hotel, because then you got to lug twenty bags of stuff. I think, and also like it's the not way the over worst the, plan, not the worst, but like the way over there too. I was just sitting there because my, me and my mom were nice, and we made a bunch of muffins for everybody. You know, because, like, we just wanted to be cool. So I was like, hey, here's this, here's all these muffins and in, this super, like, in this oh, super fragile tray. And you're like, I have to carry that. Yeah, oh, now I got to sit with this for 40 minutes to make sure it doesn't collapse and die. Yeah. But they were delicious. Uh, Donovan drove. He yep. picked us up. Or you picked us up, and then he picked us up from you, right? You? That's what I would think. No, he picked us all up. Oh, because I was picked because up last. I yeah because I showed up and I was him and up AJ last both times. Yeah, um, just because right. I was furthest from the freeway every single time, even though I was in a different place. Um, wait, was I? Yes, I was. Um, yeah, this place was swanky. Yeah, so how we have to kind of we can't go too much in depth. Like we're not getting. So how was your like overall experience? Like, what are the things you like and what are the things you learned? From this year specifically? From, yeah, from year one. Okay, overall, first year was very fun. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of noise and lights that I suddenly had to get used to. But it was just, it was a lot of fun. And spending the nights there with you guys, and you know, I got to meet Josh Keaton, and that was really probably embarrassing, but like Don't super cool. Don't forget about uh, the two boys we met up with over there. Oh my gosh, the two boys. Man, Bass and Joe, or right. Bass and Joe. I, I mean, Praise is probably fine. Yeah, and Bass died like a number of times. Yeah. And we watched Mike Tyson Mysteries. Yeah, I love that show. There's a lot of Gatorade just to help with it. So we yeah, had... so another convention rule for anyone listening, Gatorade. One word, electrolytes. 
you take one with you during the convention and you drink a whole one after the convention and i just you know all the pain just leaves it just goes away super quickly because then the energy's back up and you're like oh sick i'm great and it's not like caffeine or anything where things stiffen up or things like last like i find for a bit and then they just go away no gatorade it doesn't really matter what flavor i just do lemon lime because that's my favorite i uh, that's the that's the yellow one right yeah yellowish green what's the yellow one that's the one I normally get. Blue is also cool. Well, there's two blues. Blue's okay. I like lighter blue. Yeah, okay. Deep blue is okay. I don't really care for the red one. Um, the green one is interesting. Like the full green one. Yeah. That one's interesting. We must be both talking about... Yeah, I think there's no... I think the lemon lime one must be the one we're both talking, thinking of. Yeah. That's my favorite one, too. Do you like yeah. Powerade? It's more watered down, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, me too. Gatorade's fine, but, but blue power rate is fine. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun, a lot of good wiggle room for like, okay, now we know things for next year, and then everyone just kept getting lost from you each name other. A couple highlights. Couple highlights. Couple well, highlights. I can probably just go through all these and see the highlights. I mean, thinking of making this vlog, that was a nice highlight. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, this would be fun, and then I realized, oh wait, I'm the only one that's going to be doing this. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, something, and just like being, something Owen asked me to uh, help with in the next year. Yeah, and I will ask you again. And I asked I asked Ricky, too, because he wants to be like more involved. We'll get to next year, but that was just sort of like a, oh, hey, let's like treat Ricky, you know? Let's like pamper mm -hmm. him a bit. Let him just like hang out and stuff. And seeing the droids were cool. We got to see all of that. You had bloodshot eyes for all of it. Oh, cause I yeah, I threw up really bad, cause I got really drunk after an improv show. That's right. Um, and I threw up the next day pretty badly. Yeah. Yep, and that's the that's the year too where I thought I could just walk up to people and look at them instead of paying like you should to walk up and look at them. Well, I don't think you should, but whatever. You really should, but I have you know, opinions I to, on how things are run. Yeah, or get to have a nice lunch on there. the exploitation of your fans. But it's whatever. The thing it's that okay. I liked. Um, yeah. That's the year. Is that the year? Oh, I don't think you were with us. I don't know. Donovan, AJ, and I saw that I met a guy who he he voiced um, the asshole bald guy from Persona Five. I don't remember his name, but he goes, "Don't you damn brat!" He does it like that. Um, that guy, super nice gentleman. Everything for everything is free except the artwork because he pays that money to the artists who did commissions of his characters that he voiced. Super cool. Super one hundred percent. You need to pay them artists. Super cool. Remember, guys, yeah. there's a strike going on. <laughs> yeah, guys, pay your artists. Pay your fucking artists. Whether they're writers or they're actors or they're VFX people extras pay voices, them please pick up artists yep your crew that helps you they can't without them they're worth they're, they're nothing yep. yeah this was also the year where i recorded you for nine minutes going through the entire jojo bizarre adventure lore still i don't remember still great i've rewatched those videos were you like times. accurate i'm accurate 100 percent. oh there's an actor on that panel who passed away, remember? Billy Clements. Yeah, that's right. Poor AJ was AJ was devastated. I don't know AJ was devastated. And also, um uh the Power Ranger, right? Wasn't he also there? Uh how many people had that it was okay, two so, or three of them that died? Jason David Frank. Yeah, so this year that we're talking about right now. Twenty twenty one. It was the guy you're talking about. Billy Clements. And then it was also Kevin Conroy. Not Jason David Frank? No, Jason David Frank died after this, after the next one. He died this year? Yeah. It's fairly certain. He died in 2022, November. Okay. Okay. So it was like right before, right before. So right there before were three. the second one. Yeah, there were three. 
Okay. Kevin yeah. Conroy, Billy Clements, Jason yeah. Frank. And if we I, missed anyone, I'm sorry. I didn't sorry. get to meet Kevin Conroy, but like I saw him on the panel with uh, Will Friedle and the other guy. He's a sweetheart. He's such a sweetheart. The way he interacted with that fan yeah. was really sweet. He was so nice. He's he's great. He's the kind of person... Like he's the reason I want to be a voice actor to be like Kevin Conroy. Yep. To be the person who's, I'm doing this voices, I'm having a good time, I'm impacting children, and then I get to like be the idol and the light for other people. I mean, like we'll get to the we'll get to the next year, but seeing Steve, like I want to be him. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm actually it's getting a little emotional. That's okay, man. It's oh. okay. We're going through nostalgia. We're going through memories. Yeah, and then that's the year. Uh, it was good because I got introduced to Zanku Chicken. That's Love really nice. that place, man. AJ always buys too I don't need... much garlic stuff. Yep, and I buy stuff that I don't need. I don't need a fried tomato. I just need the pita bread. I just need the meat. I, I just need the come, garlic sauce. Comes with it, I think. It does. I don't yeah. Think you pay extra? I mean, you could ask for not it. Or whatever, but Zanku Chicken bomb. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Support your local Zanku chicken. Yep. Yeah, and then there was some Magic the Gathering stuff here. What? And there was... Oh, you guys are playing Magic the Gathering for a We're bit. We're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, dog. Yeah, the... That might have been it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then I was recording for a long time, and you actually say it. You actually say it on here. I. You probably can't... You probably need the headphones to hear it, but it's like right before I cut over to day four, you look at me and you're like... Hmm. You've been recording for a long time <laughs> because i was recording for like 19 minutes or something just like us hanging out oh after the resident evil bit yeah after after that, that bit. bit's fun we're doofus that was a bit that was a good we're a bunch bit. of goofy boys <laughs> you've been recording for a long time you've been recording for a while there buddy uh yeah that was a fun time um so your highlights was the, the things we spent together things seeing kevin together. conroy seeing kevin conroy up there actually meeting josh keaton was really nice because it was the first like it, it was my first like celebrity meet because mm-hmm. like I, I don't know if I ever told this story but in when I was in second grade at the first or second I had a chance to meet Miranda Cosgrove mm-hmm. and I didn't I knew who she was she w- we were at like the aquarium for a field trip I went to a wedding there once nice and she was there like with some friends or something mm-hmm. I forget what it was but then some girls were going over asking my mom because she was the she was a chaperone oh this was for school yeah, it was for like a school field trip. And then mom was like, hey, you know who that is? I was like, oh, who's that? I'm like, oh, it's Marina Cottengrove. It's it's Megan from Drake and Josh. And I was like, oh, okay. And I just like moved on with the day. Because like she she was just doing iCarly and second grade me had like thoughts about it. Like, why don't you just do more Drake and Josh? Like, I don't, I don't see what the issue is here. <laughs> I don't know why you're choosing to do that show. And yeah. That show was, it was great. Yeah. Great, em- great emphasis. Well, he's in yeah, but now. yeah, but but yeah, yeah. Josh Keaton was like my first like actual celebrity meet. Josh Keaton's cool. He was like really nice. He does good work. And like immediately after that, I just hopped over to say hi to Debbie Derryberry, and she signed my lunch. Dude, that improv panel. Uh, yeah. And also, she's... by the way, that was direct. That member, the guy who hosted that, Billy Clements. Oh yeah. Um. So he's dead. Yeah. And um, Phil Lamar was on that too. He complimented my voice. That's right. That's canon. <laughs> that is, that's canon. Put it on the put it on the wiki. Put it on the wiki. Phil Lamar said nice said I had a nice projection. Yeah. Nice projected voice. Yeah. But that was nice. It was good it was good meeting them and just being like, all right, yeah. You kind of get over the hurdle of like they're people too. Not that like I idolize them or like by that point like, oh celebrities are just like on a higher level. It's just that one little kick of like, no, nah, they're cool. Don't worry about it. It's like, all right. I'll, I think we especially felt. I'll worry about it less. More comfortable with like pe- people, especially after the second year. But we'll get there. Yeah, first year, even with like the pandemic stuff going on, it was a little weird still. Yeah, we, it was but, a mask. And then we raced for that D and D raffle. Dude, that, we ran that we missed. We still got stuff though. I mean, yeah, we got stuff, but at what cost? <laughs> at what cost? Uh, exhaustion yeah just like well, for a point of exhaustion yeah we, we lo- got dice trays we lost a total of four months of life i still have that gold coin by the way nice we never bought anything or i yeah. didn't from the booth the next year but i was like oh shoot yeah. i didn't bring it but i have well, the gold that coin. was, he was also- like well since you know about it i'll give you the discount yeah. 
Yeah, well, that was also the year we got the DM dice. That was the first Which year. I still only use to do DMing stuff. Oh. I... Because I got... I have the purple metallic. I think Donovan got the red metallic. Uh, well, I thought you got the red one. No, I got the purple one. Oh, you got the red dice tray. Yeah, I got a red dice tray. I got the and purple I was like, metallic dice. Favorite color. Okay. Um, I got the silver metal dice. That's right. And remember, I only I partook in it because I was buying you guys. I was helping you guys buy dice. And then the free dice would be for me because I can't buy myself dice. Because that's, yeah, that checks that's, out. that's a rule that I've instituted because I just kept being given dice. And I was like, this is great. Yeah. So the rule is still true. My I made my friend Jimmy buy me cat dice. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, at a uh, pax. But yeah. yeah. So I would give that year a uh, seven out of ten. Pretty good, but like we can improve. I actually, or like seven and a half. It's somewhere in there. I had of like maybe yeah. more fun the first year, and we you know we know why, um, which we're not going to get into because of privacy stuff. Sure. Um, it nothing bad happened, guys. It was just it was more just it weird. was some goofing and gaffing. It was just it was just a stage of goofing and gaffing. It was a stage of goofing and gaffing. This year we're gonna have our own little goofing and gaffing phase. Yep. And, and then, it, but all, and although I different. said, hey, none of this specific type of goofing. It brought us down last year. It brought us a little down. Um, mostly because we were waiting to get confirmation if something was gonna happen, and then I'm like, guys, let's just not do it. And also, Donovan and I completely agreed, <laughs> even though Donovan's the reason why it happened. We could have just gone to Dave and Buster's like by ourselves. Yep. Um, which I would have voted for, but we didn't do that. Anyways, but so um, I liked both yeah. years. Um, I I kind of wish. Uh, ba- I hope Bass goes again because it'd be cool to chill with him. He also has a very confident walk that I emulated or tried to, so people in LA wouldn't talk to me. I mean, he got a tattoo in broad daylight. He did. So like respect, you know. Hell yeah, man. Um. I had a fun time. I learned that when you go to cons with people, more than one or two, yet they you split. Yep. Sometimes, not even on purpose. Nope. It's just like, hey, look at that. Where'd they go? So I learned, because uh, this was my first time going to a convention as as a higher being, as an adult, but also as a, as a teenager, I didn't go because I was a little kid when I went. Um, I forgot I put my food in there. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot too. <laughs> I uh, one day I was just gonna look in there like, oh, sweet <laughs> chicken. <laughs> um, that was really fun. Um, I bought stuff. I bought more stuff the first year than I did the second year. I think because um, that's when I bought the games. Um, I don't think it was picked up on camera, but remember I got excited about that Power Ranger game. Yeah, that was the wrong one. Oops. It was not the one I was thinking of. I'm thinking of. Power Rangers, I think it's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Fighting Edition on the Super Nintendo. That's a game I want because I play that on the emulator a lot. Zeesness. Um, that game is just really cool. Uh, it's a Megazord fighting game. Well, Megazord and the enemies when they're big. Yeah. Um, that's just cool. Um, I loved the, the panels both years. Uh, but because of the second year, the panels were kind of better in a different sense because we just got familiar with the one group of people. Um, yeah, because now then it was more like, oh, we're following guys that we know. And, yeah. Like favorite guys. Yeah. This first year was just like, let's hit some big boys. Yeah. The first year we met, I, we didn't know one. Well, we knew voice actors in the improv panel. Love that panel. I completed an, a draft of an essay, my final, that I had to turn in before the end of the Saturday of the convention or else I was going to fail a class my first semester at CSUF, baby. Um, and so I finished uh, a, an essay on moral rights for robots before the persona panel started. Um, after we had lunch, remember you remember this from the video probably. Yeah. I went to the persona panel, or I went to the area where I was writing it, and then the persona panel happened, and then you met up with me, went to the JoJo panel, and that was day two. Um, yeah, that was like day two or three. I had fun playing games. I liked that we actually had like multiple rooms. Um, I also like when we had one room. It's, it's, it's neutral for me, um, but the, it was nice having a big bed to myself. AJ and I uh, slept in the same room. We watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge before we go to sleep both days. Yeah. Um, or at least the first day. That was really fun. I had a good time hanging. I always have a good time hanging. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad we went all three days. 
Yeah. Because we... Yeah. Oh, another highlight of this year was me almost meeting Will Friedle and totally biffing on it. Because I the full Peter Parker story, I overslept. Oh, right, you did. Every, I was like, all right, guys, let's go. And then people were just kind of moving. Like, all right, come on. Any second now. Yeah. And then I think we're just I like fast long. walked over there. And then once we got there, I just like booked it over to where I knew it was. And then I was like, hey, can I still see Will Fidel? And he's like, and someone was like, okay, go to this booth and ask. And I went over there and I said, hey, can I, <clears throat> I was tired. I was like, hey, can I do it? And then they were like, no, he like just left. Uh, it's like, okay, thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, the so that year was it was smaller than normal because it was the first LA Comic Con after COVID. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was a it was a little smaller. I think some yeah. of us were like it was like in the yeah. COVID purgatory just because we still had masks and everything. Yeah, well, that was because it was a major event. Um, outside we could take it off. Um, did we? Did we didn't eat anywhere that year, did we? Besides Zenku Chicken. Cause we went to the we went to we did the southern place uh, next year. Yeah, the south. I mean, we'll get to that. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Um, but overall, I think it was a good one. It was a good learning experience. Um, That's what it was. Yeah. Very good learning experience, but also a good experience. Uh, in itself. Yeah. Highlights. I probably the improv panel was really fun. Um. And uh, just hanging around with you guys. Yeah. So, and we will get to year two after this commercial break. Dun, 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 dun. Wah, wah. Poor baby, I wish I knew some magic. Bake the magic. Open the door to a wonderful show with Pillsbury chocolate chip cookies. Make the magic of pop and fresh dough. Hot chocolate chips have a magical way. They can even make you smile on a cold, rainy day. That's making things better. You can make magic, you know. We did. With the magic of pop and fresh dough. You make this shot, you can have anything you want for dinner. Oh, 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 I'm Kentucky Fried Chicken, Mom. You got it, superstar. Kids love Kentucky Fried Chicken, just like other folks. And with all those delicious fixins, what a meal. It's finger licky good. Real goodness from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Cost of living got you down. Prices are so hot, I take a ladder to go shopping. Cost of living got you down. Money used to burn a hole in my pocket. Now it isn't even there long enough to get warm. <laughs> There's one bargain left in town. Campbell Soups. Try chicken with rice. Best parts of the chicken, fluffy rice, and two chicken stocks for extra flavor. About six cents a seven-ounce serving. Sit right down and get your Campbell's worth. So, how big is it now? Well, it depends on the angle, kind of. Well, I guess technically it doesn't, but the perceived uh, big bigness is different. Wow. The things you learn about the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Yeah. Welcome back, guys, to Moontown Offline. Year two. Uh, how about that? I actually just watched recently uh, this with Ricky year two i decided like the first thing i decided was like let's have a theme when i was editing it and i was like oh all the music is going to be from the pokemon white original soundtrack oh nice so like the opening is like this is the opening little piano that plays when like you see the professor going over to your house Mm -hmm. to give you the pokemon i was like all right this is a good spot we use this great picture that everyone knows we got yeah that's what happened i skipped and it just went to the boys that's a great picture Bass was not there, unfortunately. No, However, we got you. sort of a diet bass. <laughs> oh, Ricky? Yeah, I mean, but the, I mean, look, he's like same height, Ricky? same sort of clothes that Bass wore in so Comic Con. If diet, ba- if, sorry, if Bass is like Coca Cola, yeah. Ricky isn't Diet Coke. Ricky is, um, he's like he, Coke he's, when it was made by cocaine. He's diet right. 
Mm. It's like a diet soda of a different brand, but you're like, that's still soda. Yeah. Needless to say, they yeah. both have black hair and they're both shorter. Yeah. I think yeah, Ricky's short. a super cool guy. We all know this. Yeah. And I figured like, hey, now that it's been my first LA a little bit, I'll be in charge of the hotel. Uh-huh. I still stand. It was fun because we ha- we had agreed to find the one with the bunk beds. Yeah. And I I had had a meeting like a few months later with Donovan and AJ to like show them other options and they were still like we'll go with this one and I was like okay cuz I read off everything that was about this at this room they're like got it so I booked it and then we got got there and then AJ was upset that it had no fringe mm-hmm. and then other folks were upset because of something with guest service or or something else or just like the general size of it all I was like, but, oh, the, because but this is the, the one with the bunk beds, guys. The picture made the room look way bigger. It did. It that That's not yeah. on you. No. That's on them. It's like, oh, it was, okay. See, it, it but was it's more, actually fortunate that we ended up choosing that hotel. Yeah, it was more just funny than anything of like, okay, this is the one we're going to choose because it has bunk beds, right? Yep. You guys are sure. Yep. You guys totally positive? Yep. All right, here we are. Oh, this is just, oh, look at, where's the fridge? Like, where's the fridge? Okay. I did think the shower was weird. The shower's a bit odd. I bet that's because I'm used but, to, I like. But it was, it was I mean, an interesting, it people. was a good experience because also it was just straight up the first hotel room I've ever bought. Uh-huh. Mostly we with other, that now. mostly with other people's money, but. True. <laughs> but technically it was the one that I reserved and the one that I had to figure out all the details. And that was nice. So I stand by that, that that was cool. So here we are uh, at Grand Burger because we thought we were going to get to you, but you had other stuff going on, I think. Or no. No, you, that's guys, what it, that's it was, what it, you guys started way later than you were not going to. Yes, because Donovan was talking to his girlfriend and lost track of time. Because these things happen, but like, dude, it's a couple hours. <laughs> Let's like... How do you lose track of time for two hours? You'd be surprised. I mean, I play D and D, and then it's suddenly like, oh wait, it's nine. Yeah. Okay. But that's. Yeah, you don't. But like, you don't have to be somewhere. Sure. Yeah, but sometimes it's like I gotta go to bed. But like, let's just have another oh, yeah. hour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is great. So Grand Burger. So Grand Burger, we were there, and that was cool. We're like, whoops, because that was our lunch. It was like three thirty in the afternoon. They were like, all right, let's go get Austin and Ricky, or let's meet up with Ricky later. Or yeah, that Ricky? was that was weird. How long he took to get there? Yeah, because he couldn't get out of work, and he tried really hard. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. it was. So but that kudos, was his but fault. kudos to him working till the end. You know? Yeah. Kudos to him working and then immediately going to L.A. Comic Con. Yeah, and that's or the be hotel a... room. Yeah, you know. And then we had to move around for parking. Oh yeah, so we don't want to do that hotel again, also because of the parking, because they f you over on that. Parking was wiggity whack. This yeah. one, this one that we have. Like, me and Ricky have looked at the Google Maps and stuff. There are very clear parking structures super near it. Yeah, yeah. Like, either right next to I think or just, like, across the block. Like, we did it. It was, like, parking lot. And then we literally, like, went out and then went this way. And it was, like, hotels right there. Also, there's a, a cool, like, themed bar right there. Yeah. Is it the coolest? No, but it's, you know, it's cool. We can go there for yeah. drinks and stuff because we don't have that rooftop anymore. Exactly. That's one thing I did like about the hotel. The rooftop that was rooftop cool. bar was lit. Or the yeah. pool bar? Yeah, pool the pool bar? bar was cool. Yep. And then, then we went to Ralph's, and we were getting all the stuff. Then we finally caught up with Ricky. And it's the same Ralph's we went to the year before. Yep. And it this year, it's going to be the same Ralph's. Because it's still the it's same. still within... It's still pool. the same area. We're on uh, 7th Street this year. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Then that night, we decided to go to Zanku. Mm-hmm. That was a good night. That was a good I one. wish we went to at least get a hold of the place. Yeah. To at least start looking at the vendors. Because one of my biggest complaints was I didn't get to see all the vendors the second year. Because time I wish, ran out. Yeah, I wish we could have. But, you know, we had such a late start. Yeah, but we're, we could have done it. Yeah. Then day two happened. And then it was like, okay, I got the LA tickets. I have set people I want to see. 
Like I knew like I was going to get a photo with Steve Burns. Mm -hmm. I was going to get signatures from Will Wheaton. Mm -hmm. I was going to get, what was the other thing? I think it was like the one, the two things that like they promoted fully. Mm -hmm. And then the rest I just had to find (laughs) because it was like a few nights before this. I was like, Oh shoot. Rob Paulson is going to be there. Like the Rob Paulson, the guy who I have his book, which is a really good book and also a really good audio book narrated by him. I was like, this this guy's literally, if any of these guys are going to be my idol, it's going to be Rob Paulson. Like, it's got to be him, because he was the first one I noticed, and he was just the one that I kept track of. He was just really cool. Yeah, so we got there, and talk about, like, separating, I immediately booked it. Because I was like, he's right over there. Sorry, guys. Pew! Yeah, but we were way more like, we like, know we're going to split. We know the game. Yeah. We already had the the group text going and stuff, so we could figure it all out. Mm-hmm. So I went over there. I had watched the like tail end of the panel he was doing, and that was just that was just really nice. And he, and speaking of nice, like then I get to meet him afterwards, because then it's suddenly like, oh, there are booths like right over there to go meet the people. And it's like, well, of course. So I went over there. I was like ninth or tenth in line. And we were there for about, like, half hour to 40 minutes standing around. Now, do you remember at a Christmas... How recent in your memory is A Christmas Story? That movie. I know it a lot. I've watched it a lot. Sure. Okay. When the did it kid take that's place? with him in the line. The I like the Tin Man kid. <laughs> I had a Tin Man kid right in front of me. Really? It was this clearly younger girl, maybe... 17 close to 18 but you can never tell these days almost had a tin tin can over here yeah like a little bit of a wider set girl who like deathly white Mm -hmm. like I'm talking unhealthy amount of white whiter than you yeah it was concerning like think a few pigments shy of my socks it was like are you good (laughs) way too much way too much like dark mahogany lipstick interesting like okay big glasses she had two big plastic bags with her full of stuff and food i forget if the food was in like probably in like other ziploc bags and stuff i was like okay you gotta like you know it wasn't a highlight aj's bag oh yeah because i carried it around most of the time poor fella got a great workout though you know but yeah so i had that girl in front of me and she was talking about like you know, I hope he likes the fanfic I wrote. And I was like, cool. And, or at least like that she wrote something. Mm-hmm. I was like, I just had to sit there like, like Randy. Like, You're like, ah, cool. Or not Randy. Sorry. Ralph. Uh, but yeah, Ralph. I'm so sorry. Ralphie. It's about to get to the season of a Christmas story. Mm-hmm. So like, it's still a little, but yeah, I was just the Ralphie of like, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, but, but Rob Paulson came out. Before the man even sat down, he went to every person in line, shook their hands, said hello, and just had like a brief thing with them. That's it, sick. It was the nice... And then he just sat down and did it all over again. Like this person. He was the nicest guy in the world. Like, it's not even a joke. And like, an, like his producer was there, who like runs this thing like i don't know if you ever saw it but like twisted tunes the like this group of like guys run by him i guess because mostly it's like jess harnell's always there uh mo lamarsh and tress mcneil are sometimes there troy baker was there for one boy and jim cummings was there a couple times and it's like them going through movie scripts but like switching out during scenes as different characters Mm -hmm. so like it would literally just be like all right for darth vader uh how about we get some poo i'll get some winnie the poo (laughs) And uh, Troy Baker, how about uh, how about we hear Jeff Goldblum for Luke Skywalker? <laughs> and he'd be like, yeah, sure. Like, you do it. It was the funniest thing in the world. I love those. So I walked up to him, and I was like, because, like, you have to go to him first for the payment stuff, and then to Rob. And I was like, hey, the Twisted Tunes guy. And he was like, whoa, thanks. Because <laughs> I guess I was, like, the first one to ever mention it. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, he does other stuff, obviously. Mm-hmm. But I normally got a picture that was signed by Rob. 
I got him to sign my book free of charge. And then I got a picture with him. And it's a picture I cherish because he's so wonderful. And I'm so, I'm so happy for it. Like now I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I just, I'm just so happy. I got that little thing. Cause that meant so much to me. That was sort of the big thing of that day year? two. You want to call it after that, uh, was you watching the Steve Burns thing. And then we met up for the improv thing with Fred yeah. Tatashore and others. And then another improv thing the next day, right? Uh, the next day. Yeah. Was that the next day? Okay. We said, Oh, we got to see Sonic when we were sitting out in the corner. <laughs> do you love Sonic? And Sonic the Hedgehog was there and do he ran. That was great. Yeah. And then, and then right after, like after that, was it after that or the last thing we did no, that okay day. somewhere in between that or was like that the next day i keep forgetting these things i'm sorry if i'm going like back and forth well, what are you stuff. trying to talk about the D panel oh because i'm trying to find like where i met like will wheaton and jim cummings um. and i think i think that was yeah that was also day two somewhere in the middle of somewhere in the middle of rob paulson and getting the picture with Steve Burns, which AJ was really nice in sitting with me for the vast majority of that line. Because it took forever. Then he just had to leave, and I was like, that's fine. But then, uh, wasn't that fruitless for him? But didn't he wait in a line and couldn't do anything about it? The Son Schemmel line? The, the what? Didn't he wait in line for Son Schemmel, but then nothing came about it or something? Oh, yeah. I think we were just waiting out for that. But, yeah, I think nothing really came out of that. He was, like, really angry about it? <sighs> yeah. Or seems like year two was better for you and then worse for everyone else yeah it was it's just nice because like i knew stuff now you know many valuable but, things yeah I didn't but know before yeah i got will Wheaton to sign my nice player's handbook than good yep that's that's what she said i got him to sign the player's handbook and then as i was leaving i realized that jim cummings was right next door it's like well i'm not leaving i'm just gonna slip into this line <laughs> then i can go in and i got to sign it got his picture signed and he was cool he seemed just a bit tired but i think that was just because it was a little later in the day and he was talking probably talking to all these people mm -hmm. so i was like all right that's fine man that's fine i'm a little tired too but those are really cool and then and then we saw those guys on day two we met the men of rpg all stars cool cool group of people cool group of folks someone i knew that i was not expecting to see was in it um, and then talk to him afterwards and then we talked to uh that's right yeah because yeah i gotta catch up on the the star wars thing that they do but he's like this christopher walken bot he is and it, yeah and it is really funny he's that's like a funny. protocol droid that's like just christopher walken <laughs> i just like like hello how, to four. we just like hung out and to me it was like after an improv show at the collective like where i'm just like hanging out with the people there and we're just like talking and then like we just walked with them like we yeah. walked out, or we, yeah, we left before. Yeah, them. that was uh, that was day three, I think. Is the day three like, when we walked out with them. Yeah, yeah when like we walked. But out day with two, them. we walked out a, a little bit ahead of them, uh, but like we met Cable Foster. Yeah, Cable Foster. Um, shout out to him. Cool guy. We would hang out with him way more than we thought we would. Yep. Out of the out of the five of us that went to this panel on day two, four of us got to go up on stage and roll some stuff and get yeah. some prizes. Who didn't? You didn't. Nope. Nice. I had the camera the whole I went time. Twice. Yep, you did. <laughs> you went AJ up went it. up there? AJ went up there. Yep. I don't remember that. I remember Donovan, Donovan went up Ricky there. Going up there. And Ricky went up there. Ricky, I think, stayed up there I, for a dude, bit because he won a big something. So remember how they ruled my my first round was ruled incorrectly? Because we were yes, supposed I to stay. I remember seeing that. Yeah. Um, and remember, I, I, I did a. I thought, I think it's really cringy now. And I thought it was cringy right after I did it. Like my death thing. That's on, like bo's tiktok like that's part of the his like the little thing and i'm like yeah. ah man but we're in his um we're in his tiktok video great over it it was just really cool um go to day three yes sir and then i'll give my highlights of it yeah day two there's a bunch of walking of trying to figure out what to do but then not going anywhere literally and then that was the night that you got high and asked us all if we were having fun. I was chiefly concerned with you guys having fun. And I thought yeah. if I was having more fun with than you guys, you would be mad at me. And I didn't want. And then that got me angry. That's a slew of emotions there. Yeah. Yeah. Different Austin. That's, that's a that's a thought process. Yeah. 
<laughs> that's uh, that's where I was. So you really gotta get the dots in the red wire and just, connect those on the board. So I really... the, I invoked. I have a friend named Jonah. I I invoked like him when I was like, this is great, because he's he has like phrases where he talks like that every once in a while, and I just like pulled that out of the depths when I was like in the middle of it. <laughs> AJ loves that I said that. Yep. He just the next few times I'd seem to be like, this is great. great. <laughs> And I'm like, dude, it was. He does do the side mouth thing. Like, this is, is great. great. Um, but it was great. He brought that up at the improv show. I think he said that. Yeah. Any uh, memorable things for you from that day? I mean, I kind of went through my memorable On things. Sunday? Oh, on Sunday. No, I'm s- sorry. I'm going through that right now. Uh, yeah, Sunday. Blah, sun. And that was the first like, okay, I got to get new shoes. Because I was slipping all over because it was sprinkling that whole weekend. That's right. It was raining, which is like yeah. a rare occurrence. Yeah, and it's on camera of me looking at LA Comic Con, and then the camera like suddenly jerks, and that's because I slipped. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, all right. <laughs> Kept going. But that's when we spent a lot of time in that video game part. We had to play a, a couple like uh, indie games, like developers were there. Oh, that was they sick. They were showing off like what that they were doing. That was sick. That was sick, yeah. Got to see the mammoth stuff for whatever reason. Remember that Star Wars game that we saw that I almost bought for my friend? Oh yeah. Um, if that it's there, I, I might. I actually might try to get him to go, because his birthday is during it, hmm. and his best friend and me is like, I'm up there. I'm like second or third. We were both at the convention, not with him. And I took a picture with him and I sent it to him and I was like, Happy birthday, Enrique. Um, but he's the friend whose booth I went to. Hmm. And now I'm actually closer with him as well because my, my boy's gone and I was with Enrique and, and his boy like last week. And I was like, this is a great time. That was last Thursday, actually. Nice. See, Thursday's a day for friends. <laughs> yeah. um, that was a, that was a fun. That was a fun. Um, yeah. I got to like at least see Tommy Wiseau. I didn't meet him. That's right. We walked past him. Yeah. We walked, we walked past, right past him. him. He's right there there i'm looking at him he's yeah, right there he's right there tommy wiseau and he just looks like he's that. not hiding no. he has a full panel with shirts with his stuff on it and just everything about the room and he's just there with his weird sunglasses and like three pants bless that man. and i was just like whoa like i don't think i have the time or the patience to like go say hi but like whoa <laughs> cool uh, you know what i want to do him. if he's you know? there next year i want to be like tommy are you thirsty? What kind of drink do you want? And he's like, I'll take a Coke. And then I go and I come back and I say, here's a Coke. My name's Austin. Remember me. And I'm just going to walk away. Make an impression. <laughs> or he's going to not remember anything. That's true. Like, I'd Oh, hi, it. Austin. <laughs> oh, hi, Austin. And then you'll, you'll move on to something else. Yeah. You'll have Anyways, to just be he like, just talks to somebody cool. Just be me. like, yeah. So how did you but feel yeah, about um, our hotel that was, festivities? Those are good. I'm just keep going through Day yeah. three, I'm sorry. But that was also the Harry Potter stuff that we saw. Yeah, the improv. And I knew them. Yeah, you knew them from like... OCIF. And I was wearing my OCIF yeah, shirt. And, and they, they go, like, hey! And I'm like, oh, hey! Yeah. I didn't know. I still, I still crack up because the best part of that was you are nothing. <laughs> was, was that one girl being like this duck, this like rubber ducky in, in like the girl's private bathroom or something yeah we're or, Myrtle or guys private bathroom i forget which one because like i think it's a guy's bathroom but a girl's in there. yeah the but she's like just paddling them. around seeking revenge for random things and then it, like it was perfect because it came in threes because this one guy just came in to use a stall and every single time she would stop what she was doing look over and say you are nothing <laughs> you have nothing you have no friends. <laughs> and the guy would just be like, oh. <laughs> it was so funny. Because the second and third time, she's like doing other things. And then suddenly this guy shows up and she immediately stops everything she's doing. You are nothing. <laughs> it's fun. Are... <laughs> that, that was a fun. I'm glad. That was the funniest bit. That's that was also... the funniest part of Comic-Con period that year. Was just that bit. It's uh... the hardest I've laughed. Like... That was the bit before we went to the other D and D panel from RPG All Stars, which that was a really fun panel as well. Yeah, that was an interesting panel, and we got to talk to them a bit more, and that Bo was cool. Again. I was talking to my friend Hero again, and then I go back to see everyone's around Bo, and I'm like, "Hey, man, what's up?" Um, 
<laughs> yeah, there he is. Yeah, it was and your POV. You what I yeah. still think is funny, you weren't there for it, and it's not recorded. But, like, Bo and his wife, we saw them yep. on the street outside the hotel, Donovan, AJ, and I, and then we talked to them for, like, a half hour. And then Yeah, because we you guys were like, hey, we're going to go outside and smoke. And I was like, cool. I'll yeah. just stay here and hang out. Yeah. Nothing Ricky just... was gone, I think. Yes, I think Ricky was gone at this Sunday point. Night. He, had to to, he had to go work on Monday? He... I think either work or like school project, school something. He had an art thing he had to do. Anyways, yeah. So we did. Also, there was a guy that a stranger that kept talking to us, and we just kind of like all left after that. Oh yeah. That oh was, no, I wouldn't. You weren't there. Why would I say that? I don't know. I'm but sorry. Like, I just that all happened. Also, I was really concerned that they might think I was high because I was high, but then I sobered up during it, and then we went back inside. And then the joke was like, because him and his like, oh, you guys are following us. And it's like, yeah, you know, we're just, we're big fans now after meeting yeah. you yesterday. Yeah. Um, although I think I had seen him a couple times on something before and I told him that. And then we're like, all right, what floor are you guys going on? They're like 10. You're like, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> but we're also Listen, on floor 10. <laughs> so... so this is a coincidence. And that's part of a TikTok. Or a, they recorded a video. I think some of it was in the TikTok. Yeah. I don't know. Once is a coincidence of meeting them there. Twice is... I think it's twice. The thing is, it's two times is a coincidence, three times is a pattern. Right, but I think the f- isn't the first time just like something. I don't know. In... I don't know that phrase. Okay, well, in any case, I just know the one I said. Yeah, yeah. What if it was like you guys were walking down the hall, like, "Well, see ya," and then they reach for their door, but you also grab the door, <laughs> like, uh, uh, "Did you guys move so... into our bunk beds?" <laughs> and then I'm just there inside the room, like, I I keep wanting to ask them why there are pillows in the shower, but. I don't know. I just want them to be happy, you know? (laughs) Anyways, I'm sure they'll be back soon. (laughs) Um, Yeah. But uh, the second night was the pool. That was a fun time. That was nice. Not too bad. Ricky was there for that. Yeah, Ricky was there for that. Ricky left later. Yeah, that's why I say it was day Okay, so it was pool, bow, and then... No, we did pool two nights in a row, right? That was the first night. Or second night. I thought we went to the pool twice. Nope, first night first night was Oh, I had gone Zanku. back to get someone. Probably. I think that's what I'm thinking of. I was like, oh, my friends are over there. Um yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and then day 4 was getting everything together and, and just and uh getting our southern a nice fixings. like yep, a nice like let's just pack everything up cuz it's nice. And then fixins was so good. That's really good. I was also very high. You could tell in the video. Oh yeah, I'm just like skipping around and like the thumbnails are, like the random bits are crazy because like, he's like you'll be here, and you'll be good, you'll be good. You're looking at him, they go. I so happy I got that spot, and I think I even sent that then. You did, yeah. I'm you were like, like, this is a nice spot. Fun. I was like, I wanted it immediately. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah, My, the, think... like the biscuits were so good. We did everything there was it's good. unfair how good it, everything was i so, i think i think honestly this year we could do fixins twice in the weekend i'd be totally fine with that hey man friday we go there for a bit fixins on the way back yeah well i think it's uh does it close at night what day do we go it's actually a thursday we would get there this year because uh ricky's getting it for the 30th because after the 30th of November, it's December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, which are the three days of Comic-Con. And then the 4th is us checking out and leaving. I'm fine with that. So, yeah. It was that cheap, but it's that many days? Hmm? There must be something wrong with that place, but I don't want to find out. Well, no, it's mainly because We're Ricky booking. has the Big Five stuff. Oh. And it gives you, like, that gives him serious discounts on certain hotels. I think just because, like... They use a bunch of fi- big five stuff. Gotcha. So like certain employees get that. Yeah, my friend would get Marriott stuff off because he worked for them. Yeah. That's really dope. Yeah. Cool. So this year, so yeah, that's that year. So general overview of that year, at least for me, it was a big improvement. Sorry, I'm getting starting to get sniffly now because we've been in the garage so long and my body's like, hey, like. You got work. And I was like, hey, no, but there's Austin. <laughs> so, like, let's keep powering through. And also, I just, like, there's not really ventilation here anymore because yeah. I wanted to make sure the sound was nice. Yeah. 
Here, I'm just gonna. Uh, this you have to blow that, your nose. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's that. It's not a commercial break. I'm just. Ten to ten. So go ahead with your review while I, while I do this. Uh, so, <laughs> you sure it's not going to be overshadowed? Uh, no, please. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll talk closer to the mic as well. So for me, the highlights was definitely the RPG All-Star cast. Those people were great. Really fun. Really nice. Um, uh, uh, Bo is a sweetheart. Um, I hope he's doing great. I hope uh, everything's cool. Um, it was, uh, I, I did like the bunk beds. Um, they were nice. I, uh, was really high those nights. So I didn't interact with like, I didn't have, I wasn't partaking in as much hotel shenanigans. Um, also for reasons that we're not talking about. So that, that to me, that's the big like thing that brought it down because then I was like, then I got stressed and I'm like, why, why is this happening? Um, but it was a, overall it was a really good time. I enjoyed the con. I wish I experienced more of the con because by the time it was over, I was like, I didn't get everything I wanted to do. And even though I think I went to basically every panel I wanted to go to, but I didn't get it like enough of the core, like actual LA comic con thing. Um, I had a one solo adventure, I think, that I was like that was vlogged. Um, I didn't like carrying the fucking bag, so we're not doing that again, or I'm not carrying it. Nope. Look, I don't think we should bring that bag again. We just need to pack better. Yep. Um, and not bring in liters of soda. We'll just deal with that. Why yeah. don't we just bring in water bottles? Um, why, not, why not we just like buy a thing that's like cans of Coke, and then we just take a can or two? Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Um, yeah. Um. And that saves us saves us money too from like buying plastic cups or anything. Yeah. Uh. Well, I'm okay. The Ralph's thing is gonna be fine. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to think. Zanku Chicken was always great. Um. Yeah. The Southern Place is also a big highlight. Mm, fix. So I guess just like, the boys, rooftop, RPG All Stars, and Bo especially, and then uh, did I say Fixins? Yeah. Fixin's rooftop and that, that. If we haven't mentioned it already, guys, you gotta go. <laughs> Is it called that? Is it called the Fixin's, right? No, it's just called Fixin's. Fixin's. Yeah. Southern Soul Kitchen, right? Or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's on Figueroa. really Figu- good. It's on Figueroa. I don't know if it's a chain. I don't think it would be. It doesn't matter to me. feel it's like great. it, but. It's, it's muy delicioso. It's a slice of yum. It's a slice of. Uh. Um, but yeah, Ooh. I'm excited to do it again. Uh, really quick, though, I, one thing I appreciate. Oh, and the indie part. It was really great. The sure. video game stuff. They, so it was bigger the second year. There was just more stuff. They used more of the space in that one room instead of it just like, here's an arena and here's a closed off thing. Instead yeah. it was like, oh, this place is like the second big building. This place is crack a convention. Um, so that was cool. Oh, we also saw, also a highlight was re- running into people I knew. Yeah, we ran into ran Dan Vellante. Dan Vellante. I ran into my friend Hunter. We ran into uh, Michael. Yeah. Um, I don't know. If I, I ran into that. Dominic from church. Oh yeah. He yeah. was like, "Oh, hey man," because he had gone like the first day only. But I was like, "Weekend pass." Yeah. Um, Got to see Nate. Great time. What's your score out of ten for both? Sure. I don't know if you gave the first the one for the first. I didn't give the first. Well, you didn't did it for the second one yet. Uh, no. I'm just letting you do it. So my first, I would probably give the first one an eight and then the second one a seven and a half Hmm. because I still had a lot of fun. Sure. Yeah. I think mine's sort of like that, but like reverse it. And for me, a six is a good time. Yeah. Six is a good time. Six is a good time. Five is a neutral time. Six is a good time. Seven is a great time. Seven and a half is a pretty great time. Eight is an awesome time. Nine is a fucking awesome time. And 10 is I'm crying that I'm not there, which I don't think we'll reach a 10. Yeah. Unless. Yeah. Good times. But, but this previous one, LA Comic Con 2022, I really enjoyed. Like, for me, that was like eight, eight and a half. Because, like, sure, the room wasn't all it was cracked up to be. But then, like, 
Ricky especially brought like a great energy to all of us, which I think was really cool. And it was just fun. It was fun to have him there. It's fun to like see like a new Comic Con thing of like, oh, this is what I looked like last year, but like it's him. Like mm-hmm. that's cool. That's interesting. I got to re- meet Rob Paulson. You know, got to do more Zenku and got to do Fixins, which was awesome. Now got to see Tommy Wiseau out in the distance. Oh, and it was also great to see Joe again. Yeah. Who's so. Joe? Uh, like Holberg? No. No? Don, our friend Joe. Donovan's friend Joe. I'm sorry. I j- you named him earlier. I'm sorry. I was... You're thinking of celebrities? We were just talking... Of, no, Joe Holbrook is the guy that works at Citrus. Okay. Oh, you were, we were, just, were talking just about running into yeah, people. Yeah, we were just we talking about running into people. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Joe. Well, okay, we just talked about Dan Vellante. Did we meet Joe Holbrook? <laughs> no. Like, yet. no, we didn't. Yeah, but Joe's really fun. He's a he's a great cat. I don't know his last name, so that's why I didn't say it. Me neither. Also, I'm not going to dox him. Yeah, I just, in LA Comic Con 2022, in the opening credits, I referred to him as Joe the Dancer. Yeah. Because that's what he was in the, Is that in the, the year first he danced one. Or he danced the first one. He danced the first year. Nice. And it just that's just it's just yeah. kind of it. Oh, highlight also Steve. Yeah. We didn't even bring that up. We brought that up for the first year. It was like flash forward. Yeah, hey, that was great. I was next to Ricky with that. Ricky and I were together for a bit. Nice. I was like, I don't think I was ever just with AJ. But I, I actually I don't think I was ever just with Donovan either. I was, I was just with Ricky or just with you. Or by myself, or with several more people. Yeah. Or like three or more. Yeah, maybe the dynamics will change this year. Yeah. Now that we have, else have Ricky's bringing his friend. Yeah. So I think LA Comic Con 2022 going to give a eight and a half out of ten. Because there is oh. a there's a lot of positive stuff in there. Isn't it weird how like sometimes when you get the sniffles and stuff, one is super clogged up, but the other just is free. And then you remember how much you hated this feeling and you feel like you took your other nostril for granted. Yeah. And it's like, pick a lane or like pick yeah. both. Hey, shout out to none. people with a deviated septum. Sorry. That's your life. Sorry about that. Yeah. But this year quote, a two bedroom condo suite features two queen beds and one twin with accommodations for five adults or three adults and two children. It's a fully appointed kitchen with dining for four people. The unit has a mix of historic brick and modern concrete with large windows facing 7th Street. The unit features a jacuzzi tub with shower and large walk-in closet. We have a jacuzzi. There are no pictures on this site of the jacuzzi tub. One can assume it's not a jacuzzi. Huh. One can assume it's probably just a bigger looking tub that's still nice and has some like nozzles in it, but it's only going to fit one dude. Damn. One can assume. We might get there and it's different. But I was going to say also maybe we just have like access to like some sort of communal jacuzzi. Maybe, but like none of the other none of the other details for any of the other rooms say jacuzzi tub. Gotcha. So one can assume it's just like a a really nice bathtub. <laughs> which I'll well, probably use one or two of the days. It's going to be a good time. Um, yeah. And real quick. I actually went to three places this year. So I went to DreamHack at the beginning of the year. This will be like the last thing. Yeah. Then I went to Evo, and then I went to PAX West. DreamHack and Evo, well, I should say pre-finals Evo are very similar. It's uh, in part of a center or a hotel in Evo because yeah. it's in Vegas. DreamHack was in San Diego. Um, you go there. There's a little bit of vendors. There's a um, little mini arcade, kind of split up. Um, it's an esports convention, so you have like we have like Rocket League going on in one place. Then we have fighting games and other stuff going in other place. Um, ooh, the woman oh, I forget her name who played Fiera Rai or Fiera Rai. Oh, Anjali Bamani. She was there. Hmm. She gave a talk that was nice. I went to a couple talks or panels, whatever. Um, Will it kill? Featuring Sejan, that was really cool. I missed Street Fighter. Apparently, that was the day before because we only went for one day. Mm. But I saw King of Fighters. I saw something else. Anyway, that was cool. Um, not as I like L- uh, LA Comic Con. The vending scene there. That's what I want from more places. 
and like the SoCal Gaming Expo, like that's there's so much video game stuff there. It's like going to a swap meet. That's what I look for in terms of vending is I want to dig through people's video game collection of like retro stuff. And I could do that at a like comic con and I could do that at the SoCal gaming expos, but I couldn't really do that at DreamHack. There were only two boots like that at PAX West. There was none like that at Evo, but Evo had artists, um, an arcade section, and then a shit ton of ways to look at all the fighting games happening. Evo finals. Amazing. So good. Glad I went street. That was the best. A lot of people saying that was the best Street Fighter finals we've seen in years. And it was Street Fighter VI's first Evo's final. Amazing. Every person I voted for lost. Um, well, lost, and then I picked a new champion, and then he got to the fi- grand finals and lost. And I was like, my boy, okay. you beat the other two people I wanted to win. You were supposed to take it. You were um, the chosen one. Pax West, Seattle. I stayed in a hostel, which was kind of similar to our hotel room where it was bunk beds. Um, it was three bunk beds. You have a little lock chest on it. Um, you share with other people, of course. Um, we never had all of it fully stacked. We always had at least one bed. I went with two of my friends, and so there was. So that's, then there was always three other beds that were could be occupied. Mm. Um, hostel was is nice. Um, mostly went to the convention. There was the first year, first year of a new building. The Summit Building. There was an Arch Building Summit Building. I ran into someone I haven't seen in 15 years. And I reconnected with him. And I... Uh, this is a whole other podcast another day. Spent time with him. That was great. Uh, the You Would Love Packs. Because there's a lot of... Well, actually... Hmm. I don't know how deep you are into video games as opposed to, like, comic books and other stuff. But, like, Packs is I a video game best. convention. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff there. There's a lot of indie people there. There's a lot of panels there. Do you know the Runaway guys? Yeah, of course. I saw. I went to their panel. Oh, nice. Throne Controllers it was like a weird like, quiz, like game show thing. Um, I did a another panel. There's two highlights: are the Runaway guys and then Design a Board Game Live. There's a company called Villander Studios. Something. I'll look. No, no, no. They did a panel called Design a Board Game Live, and so they have a, something called a pack series going on. And they go through, like, the broad strokes of, like, here's the skeleton of the board game. It's going to be this type of game. It's going to be a, a, the box, you know, we about this big, so it'll be the, a little more complicated or it'll be a little less complicated. We went with, like, not a super big box, but not a medium-sized box. Went in between. Um, I got my theme across. The people we voted for my theme, which was Space Bank Heist. And then we mixed it up with someone said Garbage Collecting. And so it's going to be a, a game, a board game about you doing a space bank heist, but you're also garbage collecting. It's going to feature map building. Uh, I don't think Secret Rolls got in. We voted for mechanics. It's going to be great. And so next year, that game's going to come out. Hmm. And I'm on a Discord, and we can actually join in for like live streams when they're doing like designing for the game, and we can impact the game even more by voting and stuff. So that's super cool. That's so really that cool. and the Runaway guys, by the way, that was in the same room. The next, it was a different days, but it was the same exact room on the third floor. That was great. Um, of course, you're near Pike Place, not too far from there. So there's really great food options around. Um, and it's not like like condensed or like eh, as LA. Although there is like the one of the street. There's like a really large like home like homeless population and also a lot of people had like weird back issues um one of my friends thought maybe there it's, were a lot of a tweakers very, over a there specific thing yeah but i was like oh maybe there's like a it's like a weird maybe it's because they don't have a good place to sleep again an infrastructure city problem we need to fix that um there shouldn't be this many homeless people uh we should just help them out um but it was cool i think you would like it because the vibes are great it's a big video game convention there is so many things unfortunately i didn't get in because if you go to pact you have a chance to get into the nintendo live which is i think co- co-hosted by the company that owns packs and my friend got in and he's literally the least nintendo fan out of all of us although he still did fun there i took a picture with the captain falc cosplayer of him punching me it was a great time i played tech in eight um, but the thing i'm disappointed about is the vending there were only two like shops that sold like retro video games and I was like, dude, what the hecky? What the hecky? So, yeah. So I'm looking forward to LA Comic Con. Yep. Because the panel, panels at PAX, I actually like a little more. Um, PAX, I give that like a 9 out of 10. It was amazing. Um, 
Evo Finals is also a 9 out of 10. But before that, it's like 7, 8. Um, DreamHack is like a 7. Um, but like overall, I think the, our convention experience is cool, and I'm happy that we're going to go again. Yeah, me too. And I'm also um, maybe hoping we should, or we can, maybe we as a group can do like another kind of convention. Yeah, yeah. I know we had kind of briefly chatted once or twice about Emerald City Comic Con, mm-hmm. which happens like, though that happens around the same, the exact same time as LA. So it's like you have to choose one or the other. Mm-hmm. I think last year I was kind of like, hey, like, what if we just like switched up and went there, you guys? And they were like, nah, we can just go here. I was like, oh, that's cool. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I mean, it's cheaper. It is, yeah. It is significantly cheaper. But. I don't know about San Diego just yet. That uh-huh. seems like a lot. It feels like a lot of people. If we did that, we would go for one day. Yep. That is so many people. And I, I don't think I can. Well, do think about it. If we go on a Sunday, actually, if we go on Friday and Sunday, we might be chill. Hmm. That's true. And then it'll just be like as busy as LA Saturday. Yeah. And then just that Saturday, we just we hang, hang out in San Diego. Yeah. Watch an improv show. Go to the parks. You know, go to the beach. It's nice there. It is nice there. Yeah. Live it up. Yeah. Just yeah. hang out in a hotel room, play video games. So, um... But yeah, so... So life this year sucked for me, but I'm happy we're going to go to a convention. But it's going to end with a bang. Hell it's yeah. It's going to end with a fixin' biscuit. End with a, all the fixin's daddy needs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and thank you guys for listening this long. We know we kind of prattle on. Yeah. But hey, you know, we missed each other. Yeah. And this is this is a very good day for us. I like to think so. I like to think so. And we will see you next time when we are a little less sniffly and a little more giggly. <laughs> exactly like that. Is there a specific way we end this? <laughs>